Hi everyone and welcome back to part two of the Puzzle Olympic videos. This has been an eventful two weeks and I was um, forced to go out and look for more 500 piece puzzles. Uh, first thing that happened to me is that um, these puzzles weren't complete. So I couldn't use them as initially planned. Uh, just a quick run through. Um, this one was supposed to be for the 500 piece square. Um, that one we counted and it wasn't complete, so I couldn't use it. The rules of the Puzzle Olympics states that you can have one piece per 100 pieces missing. Then you can still um, contribute to the to the Olympics. So that's basically 1% of the puzzle, the piece count. So this one I built, that was initially planned to be for my... Um, Puzzler's Choice Square. This one, after assembling it, I will put a photo up here. There were 17 pieces missing, so this one I had to change my plan of action. This one, also I assembled it. After counting it, I thought there was enough pieces, but this one shot 13 pieces. That was supposed to be my Sports Square puzzle. So I was unable to use that one. And this one luckily had a note inside stating that there's seven pieces missing. And that one was supposed to be my red square puzzle. So once that happened, I um, took out 1,000 piece puzzles for each of those. So, But that brought my 1,000 piece puzzles up to closer to almost 15 puzzles that I had to do in next month. So the plan was go out, look for puzzles, um, 500 to 999 pieces, get that images off of the 1000 piece pile, which I managed to do. So there was another plan in place and um, I was able to continue. The second curveball that hit was that uh, they brought out a second bingo card. And immediately everything fell apart again. All the plans that I made with the puzzles, I had to readjust. So again, I went out looking for puzzles so that I can take as many of the 1000 piece puzzles out of the next round and complete them as much as possible for this round. So twice I had to adjust my plan of action, but um, I managed to do it. 13 puzzles, I will show you what I did. And um, for this first bingo card, I still need to do three 1,000 pieces and the 3D um, pin to jaw for this round, for this bingo card. And then I'll see what next month holds for the second bingo card. But let's focus on the first one. I, it was my mission to complete this one. So I'll show you what I did. The first puzzle I did was um, this Unicorns in the Forest, Educa, 500 pieces. This one I used for the bronze square on the bingo card. And here's a quick time lapse just showing you what I did there. So the second puzzle I did um, was the Toy Shop 500 Pieces by RGS. This one was initially planned for my puzzler's choice, but ended up being used for my red square. I figured there was enough red. There's a red dress, a red truck, a red toy, um, another red truck. There's a bunch of red toys here. Red poster, red puzzles. 
So a lot of red that was able to um, fit into the red square. So another quick time lapse for you. This one um, is a double-sided puzzle. Um, I treated this one as two puzzles. So for this next one, I assembled this one, break, break time, 550 pieces, KI puzzle. So this is one of the ones that I bought new when I went hunting for more 500 piece puzzles. Um, this one I used for the black square as the other one I was no longer able to use for black. So, quick time lapse for you. Enjoy that one. Okay, the next puzzle is this uh, blending in 500 pieces from RGS, beautiful kittens. And initially I planned to use this one for the green square because of all the greenery in there. But I ended up using this one for the puzzler's choice square. So you can um, have a look at the quick time lapse of this one. Okay, so the next puzzle I did was the Soft Rock, Soft Rock Cafe, 500 pieces by RGS. This one I used for the People Square. I could have used it for the Blues or the Water Square as well, or even the Blue, but I chose to uh, use it for the People Square. Uh, another quick time lapse for you. So the next puzzle is this round puzzle by Iduka, 500 pieces, little friends, and uh, this one I chose for the round square, 
Um, I recently assembled this one for the channel so I knew that this one was complete so I didn't have any trouble with this. Um, apologies for again having to watch it but here's a quick time lapse. I promise I'll keep it short. <music> Okay, so the next puzzle is the other side of that um, break time puzzle, 550 pieces by KI. This one I chose the hot square. This one actually replaced a thousand piece puzzle from the next month's pile. So in doing this, it's one less for next month. So the hot piece, or the hot square, a quick time lapse. Okay, next puzzle, also 500 pieces by RGS, Colorful Forest. For this one, I chose the green square. Um, this one, um, I recently got second hand, especially for the bingo card. Quick time lapse. Okay, the next puzzle is 500 pieces by Hay, uh, Sea of Blossom. This puzzle was from day one um, planned to be for the blue square, so I actually managed to use it for the blue square. So there's another quick time lapse for this one.
next puzzle, also one of the new ones I got, um, is it Splendid Spring Morning by KI, 750 pieces. This one I chose the water square and for this one as well um, there was another water puzzle that I planned to do for the bingo card so when I did this one that thousand piece came off of the pile. So another quick time lapse for you. So the next one is a golden puzzle. This one came from that uh, charity shop. 500 pieces, still live. Uh, this one actually got five pieces missing, but because it's within the brackets of the requirements, I was able to use it. This one I used for the food and drink square. So another quick time lapse. <laughs> The next puzzle is um, also from the second-hand charity shop, European House. It's a sheer locks puzzle, 750 pieces. And this one I used for the flower square. And also for this puzzle, I managed to get another thousand pieces off of the next month's pile. Another quick time lapse. I'll keep it short, I promise. Okay, so the last one I did for this uh, round, the bronze round, is a 500 piece puzzle by Jumbo and the name is Tropical Beach. This one I chose to use um, for the summer square. Again, another um, puzzle, a thousand piece puzzle was actually picked for that square. And I with this one I managed to exchange it and get that thousand piece off of next month's pile. Uh, another quick time lapse for you.
Okay, so that is it for the silver round of the Puzzle Olympics. I still need four squares on the bingo card to complete that first one. Then in July, I will see how far I get with the second bingo card. I'm going to give it my all to complete all the squares. I uh, took four days leave to be able to to get more puzzles done in the in next month. So um, I will bring an update video mid July around to 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 update you on my progress with the first half of the gold round, which is the thousand pieces, and maybe a last video end of July for the last round um, of the, the the last part of the gold round and the closing ceremonies, which is the 1,500 pieces. I need to do one 1,500 piece to be able to complete that second bingo card. So let's see if I can do it. I'm going to give it my all. I, I hope I will be able to complete it, but I'll give you an update on that. So please uh, like this video, subscribe and ring the bell because then you will get an update of that video as soon as it gets out. And um, cross your fingers. Let's hope that I can manage to do all that puzzles. It's about 27 puzzles I need to do in January, uh, in July. So uh, let's see. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Take care. Bye.